like after searching, after looking, uh, what was the first school you, you know you, you were thinking? Uh, so I, I was not thinking anything. I was just like, we have people know who was already in APU, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you brought a couple of friends who were like people happened to get in the Philippines here. There were two James the man, I forgot the name, but uh, they we know if they listen to the podcast, they know themselves. They were really nice. They used to live in Cubao. I forgot the name. We spoke sometime on Facebook. I forgot. Sorry about that. Um, so those guys, they, they help us. They help us to find people to travel. So the first team to travel was FU actually, and we travel for FU because people know the was there. That was the first team I traveled for. It was FU, and then after FU it was um, I don't know what was it, what happened at FU when we did the trial. I honestly don't remember what. JRU. For some, for some reason, then we went to GRU. We coach our impact warrior, right? We went to GRU. Me and uh, and Jay. NG. And Ian, yeah. right, we went there and we did a shout out where my, my, my brother, my best friend, Jen MJ, he jumped over somebody. He, 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 has, he had to do a dance to be on the team. He put somebody under the rim and he jumped over him to turn the ball. And Coach Ariel was like, you my team right away. I'm, I'm like, yeah, you. <laughs> and, and take note, guys, we, I played against NJ, against people in some, some of the commercial leagues in the Philippines. So it was it was so surreal that I was able to play with them after a long time. When we had like a tune-up game against uh, R.R. Garcia, Pipo Nondo, and the other guy, it was like early yeah, yeah. in the morning, right? Yeah, I remember, I remember those games, man. We get asked to hope I you. <laughs> yeah, going back to your story, bro. Sorry, sorry to cut you off. Anyway, we're going back to the competition. We're going back to that. So the first team it was a few, and then we tried at GRU. I, I was I was a shooter, man. When I got to the Philippines, I was yeah. a shooter. I knew I could shoot the ball. No matter what you put me, I can shoot the damn ball. So it was easy for me to get in GRU. The coach was like, "I like you right away." I didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't try for five minutes. I touched on the ball like three times. Okay, done. Same with GRU. And the other two, my two colleagues, my two friends, they had to wait until the trial was over. But at the end, they keep uh, they kept uh, John John NJ. Yeah. That crazy dunk and his hustle on defense. You know, he was he was killing them on defense there. And then that's how my other friend Ian went to GR, went to AAC. Yeah, yeah. Because coach Ian, I told him you can only take two in proper team, right? You can only have two. You can yeah. have more than two because he wanted to keep all of us, but he couldn't because of the rules. You can only keep two. So he sent uh, Ian to GRU. He sent he sent Ian to AAC. EAC, yeah. Right? EAC. EAC. So I even went with AAC the first time when he went to the EAC. I, I like Virginia. I went there. I just saw yeah. the first training. He got the the brand I see got it was around 3 p.m. I remember the story like we just said he got there around at 3 p.m. That's the time we practiced over there. The coach, I remember Coach Norma used to say, hey, suit up right away. You can try right now. So he tried out, everything was fine, and he, he got in the team. And finally, we have to move up to a small house in Cubao and get all our stuff, and then he has to go back to where he's supposed to be going, right? That's why I ended up with GIO, but it was like on a Friday over the weekend, you know, we gave our papers, our passport and stuff, and we came back on Monday. Then when I came back on Monday, I asked Coach Ariel, I went to the office, the athletic office. He was super angry. He was mad. Why? I was like, what's going on, Coach? He was like, because you didn't tell us that you play professional basketball. I said, what, what do you mean I play professional basketball? He didn't tell us you play in the FIFA before. I said, I didn't know your matters, coach. I didn't know him. I didn't know why. It's like, you just check your name and we saw you online. It's like, you cannot play the NCAA or the UAE too late. You know, I am. the only league you can play in the Philippines right now is just uh, NCAA and the, the UCA. UCA. Uh, those are the yeah. Two, yeah, those are, those are the two I could play at the time. And it was, it was either that or go back home. Yeah. And then I was like, Coach, where can, I, where can I go now? I said, you have to go meet your other friend back in Iraq. It's like, fine, let's go back to EAC. I didn't know where I was took my steps through. <laughs> so I went back to EAC. <laughs> All right, so I went back to EAC. And Coach Isla was, he, he kept us, he and me, for like two weeks just training and trying out. And finally, he said, it's all, I, cannot keep, I can only keep one. I'm going to keep Romeo. And he mm. sent Ian to Old Virus. Yeah. Yeah, he sent me onto the device and he kept me at EAC. That's how I got to EAC. After yeah. like two weeks of intense practice, like three, two times a day, we used to practice two times a day, morning, yeah. afternoon. Yeah. With Coach Gino and Coach Eli Cabatulan and Coach Isla, all those guys. And there was Mr. I don't know if you remember Kiko. He was the a pit yeah. back in the day. He was the, yeah. yeah. All those guys. Yeah. Remember. So, yeah. 
Das war ja. ganz easy. 